Let's talk about a contactor. Now, you may have seen things like this before, a timer, a relay, or we've, I've done a video on this before in the past, but um, contactors are similar to relays. With relays, you can see here there's a, a base that you take off and everything wires into here, and if you read the side of a relay, you can then see how it's supposed to be wired. Now, this is a timer, but you can see my A1, A2, Oh, and that would be my coil, and you might, and the one one one, the one one would be my common for my relay, and then the one two, one four. Um, in this case, it's a timed open, time close setting, or your normally open, normally closed. Um, contactors work very similar to that, except instead of having this, you know, being able to be separated and wired universally like this, because they're usually higher. Uh, controlling higher voltage and usually you're using it to turn on and off a three-phase motor um they're usually set up in a in a fairly rugged setup like this but if you take a close look you can see here would be a1 a2 and clearly labeled would be the voltage that this coil can provide and so a1 a2 which is just like your coil but in theory is, works the same way as a relay uh, power comes in to the coil and out, and it in, in induces a magnetic field that pushes in this 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 relay contact right here, that basically then takes it and shuts it, and it does that for all three poles of the contact. Now, um, a couple things you can see when we use contactors, you're usually using L1, L2, L3, with a T1, T2, T3. Now, in this case, you'll see another um, pole. But if you look closely, the 1, 3, 1, 4, normally open, you can see closely, it says normally open, normally open. These are relay contacts on, on the side to let you know, so to, let know to, to feed back to a PLC if a relay is is engaged because if I can send a signal through my coil maybe something's keeping this from in engaging and just because I'm sending a relay to my coil this gives me a real time hey this is actually engaged or not or this is actually on because oftentimes you we also have on the side or in between two of these set up in series with something like this in between it it's a it's an interlock that will keep the and now this one's broken, so it's not, but you can see one is up, or this is broken a little bit, but both are up. But if I extend one back, it will keep the other one from going forward, and vice versa. This is a broken one, so I can actually push back on this. But it sits right here, and you can see this moving part right here that, that actually will go up and down as I manually engage the 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 piston or whatever you want to call it but since this is alan bradley sits in it's usually you can see the little the little dog ears right here that just sits in right here and then if this engages you can see that this will engage now these are secondary contacts that you can actually do the same thing and again two one that's your 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 um common and this is your um relay two one two two see how that and these are normal so here I got normally open, here I got normally closed. So just be aware of those things. Um, and here's all the information. But I'll take this aside, just want to make you aware of this, that this is a possibility. Because in, in the field, you'll see this, this type of interlock, or maybe a secondary contactor, and then another contactor off to the side. So that if this is engaged, the other one won't be engaged. But the nice thing about what Alan Bradley does is they can make you can replace any part of this. So say you wanted to change this out for whatever reason, or you want this to be 24 volts rather than you know, 120. Um, if you look very carefully right there, you'll see a little clippy doodad that you wouldn't be able to see otherwise. But a little clippy doodad, and you can see it up on the coiled side too. But if with my Mr. Handy Dandy screwdriver, I can just kind of go in there and pull down, and this thing will pop open. And look, here's a spring. And you'll see on this side what looks like a giant metal bar thing that 
that is electrically connected to these three. Or, if I can break it down a little bit more, see if I can take it apart. You know, that this is allowing, this is actually, not, it's not electrically connected, this is the uh, magnetic, sorry. But you can see as it goes up and down, the contacts are going, you know, they're embedded in here. Let's see, can I break this apart anymore? Where can I go? I'm taking a look, see if I can, oops, sorry, you're looking at my hand. I'm seeing if I can break this apart more. But typically they don't want you to get too much in there, but this is the, this is the electrical coil. And if you take a look, you'll see a small little wire, maybe right there. And you can see this is my encapsulated coil. And you can see a small little wire right there that's isolated to the A1 and a small little wire right there going out. So power will go in through here all the way around, make the induction. And it's there with the, with the, with the spring. If this is, if we're going to, that the spring will pull that in. And when it pulls it through, it's going to make contact. Like, it's going to make contact right here. And you can see how everything is, is grounded and, and connected. But again, all this is is, is creating, um, pulling this down together so that the magnetic field is not just pulling down one pole, pulling down two other poles as well. Um, and that's how the, these contactors work. So um, let's see if I can break this apart, because why not? Let's get in there. Break. Let's get in there and show you what's on the inside. Aha. So now we can take a little bit better look in there. Maybe my lighting is garbage. But you can see carefully. Let's see, can you you can kind of see in there if I maybe I'm trying to get the better lighting. See it now, hey, lighting. You can see the contacts in there as it comes down. So right now this is not engaged, but once that magnetic field goes down, you can see how it um, connects. And there's your ancillary contacts are electrically isolated that's doing the same thing. Really cool, huh? But this is how a contactor works. Um, so yay, breaking stuff. <laughs> um, so any part of these can go bad, but again, contactor's purpose is to engage uh, maybe uh, a three different phases together at one time that will close up on itself, and then this is just an ancillary contact. But this, if you've ever wanted to know what the inside of a contactor looks like, there you go.